What is up guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Thaman and today's analysis video is going to be about the superstar of Premier League, Mohamed Salah. So today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball is an app where you can find all the latest transfer news and stats about teams and players. So please don't forget to download the app. I'll put the link in the description. So before we start the analysis, first I would like to share a few personal updates with you all. You must have noticed that I haven't really been uploading videos lately. And the reason why I haven't been so active is actually down to some ongoing health issues. I suffered a minor cardiac arrest on the 31st of October. I was asleep and I suddenly woke up and felt a bit dizzy and my heart was also pumping really really fast. So I was taken to the hospital and I think my heart rate at the time was close to 170 or 180. I was at the hospital for a day and a half and they performed all sorts of different tests and then they referred me to a cardiologist. And since that time I've just been undergoing so many tests on a daily basis. Echocardiogram, stress test, halter monitor and whatnot. But thankfully I'm done with all the tests now and I have an appointment with my cardiologist on Friday. So hopefully he will have all the results on Friday and I will get to know what the next step is once I meet him on Friday. I'm just hoping that the results come out fine and it's nothing major. So let's see how it goes on Friday. In the meantime, just remember me in your prayers and take care of yourself and your loved ones because life is actually very short and we never know when we might breathe our last breath. This whole experience has actually changed the way I view life now. So just take care of yourself and be thankful for everything that you have in life. So Mohamed Salah has scored 15 goals and 6 assists in 15 appearances for Liverpool this season. That's a total of 21 goal contributions in 15 appearances at a very impressive rate of 1 goal or assist every 62 minutes. In Liverpool's system, the two wingers don't normally operate like a conventional winger. Sadio Mane and Mohamed Salah often work as the two inverted wingers or inside forwards as they try to occupy the half spaces are the spaces in between the centre-back and the full-back. Roberto Firmino often ropes in between the lines and in that process, he often ends up pulling the opposition centre-backs out of their positions to open the space centrally for one of Muhammad Salah or Sadio Mane to exploit. Firmino drops in between the lines and look at the position of Muhammad Salah. Muhammad Salah has already taken the inside forward position because Salah is anticipating Maguire to step out to cover Firmino and that would open the space for Mohamed Salah. Maguire steps out to cover Firmino, just like Salah had anticipated, and Salah is now clearly onside. And he is ready to attack the central space that Firmino created by dragging Maguire out of his position. Long diagonal passes from the back to the front are now slowly becoming a trademark move of Liverpool. Virgil van Dijk is one of the best in the league when it comes to playing long diagonal passes. Van Dijk on average plays 5.86 long passes per game. And the target for most of those long passes is often Mohamed Salah who has a stunning first touch to control the ball and get in the opponent's defensive third. Instead of occupying the half spaces, Mohamed Salah often liked to occupy the wide spaces whenever the Liverpool centre-backs, especially Virgil van Dijk, has the ball. Salah knows that van Dijk has the ability to play inch-perfect long passes to find Mohamed Salah. And credit to Mohamed Salah who has an excellent first touch to control the ball. And this way, Liverpool are able to bypass both the front and the midfield lines of the opponent with just one simple long pass. And once Mohamed Salah has the ball in the final third, he either likes to cut inside which forced the fullback to get to his weaker foot and gives Mohamed Salah the advantage to easily shoot. And at times, when Mohamed Salah receives the ball, the defensive line drops back to cover the runs of Firmino and Sadio Mane. And that often opens up the space in front of the defensive line for Mohamed Salah to easily play the ball to one of his incoming midfielders to take a first time shot at the goal. Whenever the Liverpool centre-backs, especially Van Dijk, is given time and space on the ball, the first thing he does is try and find Mohamed Salah by playing a first-time long diagonal pass to eliminate the front and midfield lines of the opponents.
Thanks to Mohamed Salah's brilliant first touch and timing of his runs, Liverpool are able to eliminate the front two lines of the opposition defence with just one simple diagonal pass. And from this position, Salah likes to cut inside to force the fullback on his weaker foot before taking a shot at the goal. Again, no pressure on the centre back, and we all know what happens when the centre back is given time and space on the ball. They immediately try to find Salah, who does the rest of the work. Again, excellent timing of the one to stay on side, and brilliant first touch to control the ball and take it away from the fullback. Once again, Cutting inside to force the fullback to his weaker foot, but this time the Brighton centre backs are able to cut the shooting angle. And this is where Mohamed Salah's awareness comes into play. He knows the shooting angle is very tight, so he immediately plays the ball in the open space for Henderson to take a first time shot at the goal. This combination of diagonal passes and Mohamed Salah's first touch has been working really well for Liverpool and resulting in regular goals too. So we all know that Muhammad Salah likes to cut in from the right wing to get to his stronger left foot. And during that process, he often ends up dragging the opposition fullback out of his position. So most of the Liverpool players are now aware of the fact that the far post is more often than not totally free as the fullbacks often try to follow Mohamed Salah's runs inside the box. Roberto Firmino checks his shoulder and he can see Mohamed Salah cutting inside. So Firmino anticipates the fullback following the run of Mohamed Salah which would then open up the space for Firmino at the far post for a simple tap in. The fullback moves inside to track the run of Mohamed Salah and that leaves the far post totally open for Firmino for a simple tap in. One of the major strengths of Mohamed Salah is the speed and timing of his runs. He is one of the best when it comes to making well-timed runs and that makes him a nightmare for teams that play with a high defensive line. Mohamed Salah has now become the fastest player to get to 100 Premier League goals for Liverpool. He achieved that milestone in only 162 appearances and he is truly becoming one of the greats of this game. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.